uh, you all are currently in a escape pod uh, launching from the USS uh, Cairo. Uh, only not even uh, 30 minutes earlier, uh, you the ship was wrecked with uh, torpedo fire and uh, with uh, multiple breaches of the hull and seemingly no power whatsoever uh, besides emergency, uh, the captain, of course, had made the difficult call to abandon ship. Uh, as you uh, float through space uh, with the emergency beacon going off, uh, you suddenly feel a, a jolt as the pod uh, is locked on with with a tractor beam and is now being pulled to another destination uh what you surmise would be the enemy ship that you only got a glimpse of through one of the ports um as you slowly but surely go to uh your date with destiny uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves? Uh, I can go. Uh, yes. I. Uh, my name is Nella. I'm playing Isra, who is uh, the Denoblian engineer. Uh, she's a lieutenant commander, uh, kind of the ship's mom, and obviously very distressed by uh, what has happened. I'm Lieutenant um, Ava Marine. I'm a I'm a Bajoran, uh, ship's counselor. Um, uh, I'm concerned and um, want to be there to support everybody who is um, in the ship with me and um, I will ignore the PTSD that I've had um, and I've worked to, to overcome and I'm going to be um, uh, assisting where I can no matter what. I am Lieutenant Commander Dakor, Head of Security, Vulcan. Fair enough. Okay, um, so as you sit here, uh, you see that uh, the captain is not uh, looking too well. Um, he's holding his side, and, but obviously trying to conceal the uh, what appears to be a, a pretty, uh, pretty decent injury. Uh, but uh, he turns to you all and says, okay, Look, right now, the mission is survival. Whatever happens next, you need to live. You need to make it back to Starfleet and let them know about this, no matter what. That is my final order. Yes, yes sir. Captain. Uh, yes, Captain, but... uh. Uh, I think we can take a look at what's going on here and try to stabilize you in the very least, right? And uh, Isra goes over, I mean, it's a, an escape pod. Um, would they be uh, kitted with any sort of first aid? Uh, yes, there would be an emergency first aid kit. Okay. Uh, you believe that you should be able to access it um, with, uh, from one of the panels, so... Well, I can't say uh, I have too much medical uh, background, but uh, I can assist. I could assist. Would love assist. that because okay. yes. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I'm sorry, is the captain? What's like? What's the captain's name and and uh, what species? Uh, the captain is a human. Uh, his name is uh, Jellico. Jellico. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, you know. Captain Jellico is a human. Uh, it's not quite the same as uh, as Jeffrey Tubes and Warp Cores, but pretty sure we could put him back together. So, <laughs> um, with the help of uh, Lieutenant uh, Marine and uh, Lieutenant Eva, Eva, Lieutenant Eva, I'm Bajoran. So, uh, <laughs> got it. Last names first, first names last. Right. Got it. But uh, yeah, so you you take a look and you see that basically a um, it's a it's a very deep laceration uh, in his side, and it's it's not looking good. It's uh, you know the blood is turning dark, um, and the best you can do basically is to you know, 
just bandage it up, but yeah, he's is not looking great for him. Right. Um, at, at at this moment, you can kind of feel uh, the slight uh, sort of gravitational pull as it nears the larger craft. Feel the uh, pod sort of drop a few feet and slam into uh, a like metal surface. Right. And as far as you, from what you probably figured, you are now aboard the enemy vessel. Uh, may I say an opportunity has presented itself, and in this moment of calm, I rip some panels off the side of our uh, escape uh, hatch to create cover for ourselves. Uh, actually, um, if uh, Decor, uh, you look like you have a, a good grasp and a strong arm, rip that panel down as well, and if you could assist me in this task. Very well, Lieutenant Commander. And while we're at... Um... While we're at it, can mm -hmm. um, I have a uh, value? Um, I'm, perhaps I, I will pray to the prophets because I believe that the prophets uh, manifest miracles through the work of ordinary people. So to also um, shore us up in our strength. That is enough to like rip the panels off and basically form some very rudimentary like shields or whatnot, uh, like moving shield, barricades or whatnot to. Uh, give you some cover. So, okay. So basically, as soon as you like get into position, everything you can hear. Uh, it's some. No, oh, go ahead. Uh, as we're getting ready, I will turn to Lieutenant Ava and say, "Do what you can to comfort him, Lieutenant. I do not believe he has long." Um. And thank you. And I shall. Alrighty. Uh, I didn't mean to sound so uh, gleeful about that. Um, <laughs> uh, but, of course, I'll also already my phaser. Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay, so well. uh, mm -hmm. you 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 can you hear uh, and then suddenly see what looks like a uh, plasma torch burning through the hatch to the uh, to the escape escape pod. Uh, after a few moments. Uh, the hatch is ripped off and uh, coming in with uh, with phaser with disruptor rifles are uh, two large uh, beings in uh, fully sealed environmental suits uh, with uh, strange uh, almost like beak like helmets I would like to use my value which is it is logical to strike first. An incapacitated enemy is incapable of retaliation. Okay. All right then. Uh, um, so, yeah. And I would like. I would also like to um, add to my values that evil has many faces. So, um, in order for us uh, to for me to determine whether or not um, the degree of what danger we are in and what kind of threat they pose. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay, so you can, uh, so what we'll do is, is that we'll go ahead and get into combat right now. Uh, uh says, says, there's always time to surrender. Uh, that, you know, you get the sense that, um, this, uh, this being is taking that into consideration, but we will see what the core does, uh, because it is, it is now, uh, your turn. You were offered a chance to surrender and did not. I must assume you were hostile and <laughs> fires. All right, so yeah, that guy is not looking hot. Uh, you basically uh, phaser him straight, uh, like straight in the the uh, center mass, and uh, he crumples to the floor. Uh, it does look like he is still alive, uh, technically, but. Uh, not well, going to be too much trouble right now. Well, I think I lived up to my value. Uh, uh, could they... I perhaps mm -hmm. assist by, um, like I said, there's still time to surrender, but can I make a roll for that with, like, um, insight and command, like, as a kind of, yes. uh, to persuade them to put down their weapon? Yes, yes. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> looks like uh, he decides to, uh, to take your uh, suggestion under consideration. 
and uh, drops the rifle, uh, starts backing away from the escape hatch. Uh, so that's not surrendering. Uh, that's retreating. <laughs> so like I, the core is like, uh, uh, please remain where you are. Okay. Uh, it the the being stops and tries not to make any sudden moves. Uh, so, uh, Ava, what are you doing? Do you have any suggestions of, of do you have the situation Lieutenant, handled? Lieutenant, if you might retrieve both of those disruptor rifles on the ground, please. Yes, sir. And I think the other one had a pistol as well. Grab that as well. Those things are okay. delicious. Um, okay, so as, as you step forward and take the weapons and everything, you can take a peek around and you see clearly see that you are in some sort of uh, hangar. Um, well, I think Isra would like to secure our um, uh, the, the, per the person we've captured, uh, make sure that they're not going anywhere. Um, I would think, so I would suppose, uh, could we say she has her engineer's kit on her, that she grabbed it and ran before she left the shit? And let's uh, say that maybe yes. there's a kind of uh, engineering foam that hardens pretty quickly. It's, it's great to secure things like limbs. To, yeah. to Fair think. enough, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Decor yes. waits until you've finished with that, and like when you're all done, then just sort of like holds up a pair of like handcuffs essentially he's he's head of security so he probably he's just like yes but the only I, way to break that down is with the solvent in my kit <laughs> very so. well good thinking lieutenant commander uh, oh yeah, actually here's a question which of us has seniority oh well i mean um i mean i'm also a lieutenant commander of i'm oh that's a very good question I mean, I'm not chief engineer, I'm, but I'm I'm pretty high up in the engineering, I would think, unless I am chief engineer. We haven't discussed I mean, this. Rank-wise, we're, we're both lieutenant commander. Yeah. 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 Um, um, I would say uh, I'm new to the ship, so I defer to you. Very well. And I'm okay. I'm lieutenant, kind of junior grade. I'm also mm -hmm. I'm I'm new. Yeah. Uh, relatively um, fresh yeah. out of Starfleet. I would so. say Isra uh, has, has yeah. about. 20 years in Starfleet, possibly, but has been ship to ship, uh, isn't as ambitious as some other people, just jazzed to be here. So, uh, but so new to the ship, she's still sort of getting the ropes down. Can I pick, can I actually flip the visor up to see the face of, um... um you, you, you're not able to flip the visor up, but, mm -hmm. uh, the way it's structured, but you can take the helmet off. I can take the helmet off. All right. Okay. So, so I'd like to take the helmet off along with that, so... Uh, okay, and uh, um, even though they're they're restrained by this uh, hardening foam, uh, Deckard keeps his phaser trained on them. Okay, uh, as you approach the being or whatnot, and clearly you're about to try to take the helmet off, uh, it it they try to shake really quickly, and uh, and as you take the helmet off, it comes off, and you're like, hang on there. Filthy buttocks. Uh, so yes, there is a Klingon there um, who is very, very upset right now. And you know, being a Klingon, that says something. Wait, the Klingon surrendered? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, this is something to write home about. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Identify yourself. I am Kranach, Torg, House of Torg. Proud Klingon. I have been undercover amongst the Breen. Release me. I... <laughs> the Breen, I see. I was thinking it was the Breen also. Okay. That... And your companion was not likewise a Klingon, I take it. It is a Breen. Of course, a Batak Breen. Undercover, you say? For how long? Does it matter how long? Does not matter. Hmm. Evil can have many faces, and I don't quite trust him yet. So yes, as from what you you're picking up from Torg, 
uh, is uh, seems to be very, very irritated, uh, but not intentionally trying to deceive you. Uh, at, at least that's what you're picking up. Uh, like I said, it's it's he doesn't seem to be uh, trying to you know uh, trick you or anything like that. But he does clearly um, maybe want to nibble on an internal organ. Just just nibble okay. on it, maybe, you know. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I, yes. Okay. Lieutenant, what is your assessment of this individual? Um, he is, um, he is definitely, uh, not a threat, uh, but, um, I do sense that there's a bit of Klingon rage and hunger, um, um, going on right now, so let's make sure that, um, um, all fingers and toes stay far away from his mouth. That seems imminently sensible. Lieutenant Commander, you mentioned a solvent earlier. Yes, I got it right here, and I hold up the uh, the capsule. Perhaps we should free our associate. Sure can do. Do you want to get those handcuffs ready, as those are a little more uh, pliable? Yes, yes. I think it best that you remain restrained until we confirm your story completely. Would that be agreeable? Yes, but know that we have the same enemy. The Breen are the enemy, but I will comply. Uh, at this point, uh, as you as it starts to dissolve and everything there, uh, the um, uh, you start taking a look around, and you see that there are a few more of the escape pods that have been emptied. Uh, and unfortunately, you also see some splashes of blood. Uh, some human, some uh, some Vulcan, so, you know, just a, a mixture of them. So unfortunately, it's not, uh, it's not looking great for the rest of the crew. Well, in that case, I'd like to ask our new friend, uh, we're all uh, everyone pulled off of these escape pods killed or have they been taken somewhere else? Uh, it looks like they have been... Uh, you do... As you take a look around, you do find a few bodies there, but it does look like they have been taken somewhere else. Okay. Tell me, Klingon, were you responsible for any of these deaths? No. The Breen are responsible for the deaths. Yes, of course, but in the course of your undercover work, did you have to dispatch any Starfleet personnel? I wish to not answer that. Uh, I see. Do we have a lawyer for this gentleman? <laughs> no? Hmm. Under whose orders are you, are you undercover? The Klingon High Council. Are there more of you? I am acting alone. Well, I mean, this is obviously technology that uh, Isra is not aware of, so um, she's gonna wanna be doing some, uh, a as much espionage herself as she can. If there's a computer system nearby that she can maybe try to access to, but I think the number one priority is uh, saving our people uh, okay. and finding a way off of the ship because this is obviously a threat greater than the Federation is aware of, and we have to warn the Federation. Well said. Tell me, turning to Tor, uh, what is your rank? I am a commander. Very well, commander. It seems that we may require your help. The lieutenant seems to think we can trust you, but rest assured, if there is any treachery, you will be dealt with, and I'll remove the cuts. I, by my word, my honor from the House of Torg, there will be no deceit from me. You hear a slight groan, and uh, Captain Jellicoe goes, 
Is that a Klingon? Yes, Captain. There appears to have been an X factor we had not anticipated. <laughs> this is one heck of a retirement. And he kind of fades back out. He's, he's, he's been in and out for a while now, so... But yeah, he doesn't... He's still not looking great, but uh, he's trying to hang in there. Okay. Um, you, uh, you will have to forgive the captain. He is only three days from retirement, and he is often telling us he is too old for this excrement. <laughs> uh, so at this point, what Isra would like uh, to do is, um, as since this is a, a hanger of some kind, um, right. is there any sort... I, I mean, at this point, she would herself note uh, technology, not what we're used to, uh, but is there anything that looks like a console? Um, she would like to get a lay of the ship and where our people might have been taken. Um, and while also asking Torque what uh, uh, information they might have about where they would right. take our people. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you do see a uh, what looks to be um, possibly an access. Uh, uh, access station uh, nearby. Um, it's actually up on what uh, it looks like a, a railing. You're standing up there and you're able to get a better look of the entire uh, uh, hangar bay. Mm -hmm. And so you're able to see that there's at least two shuttles mm -hmm. and you also get a better look at some of the damage. You can see that there was some phaser fire, some disruptor fire. Um, and it kind of starts to hit you that uh, even though you can't see the faces of the uh, the fallen here, uh, it, it's starting to affect you that these are people that you that you met and talked to and knew not not even like a few hours ago at this point. No, yeah, um, yeah. It's... So, but yeah, you're you're you you're able to kind of you know clear your mind. Uh, enough to try to access the panel. Um, so yeah, so you're able to get just a general overview of the systems or whatnot. You're able to get a, a quick layout. You do see, uh, like I said, it's it's you're, you're you're kind of weirded out by how everything is placed. You you, you can see where the crew quarters, like it's called like the habitat ring, is. Um, you can you found where the main reactor is. You discover that there's a weird, like auxiliary craft attached to the to the aft mm -hmm. of of the vessel, um, and you actually are able to pick up of what looks like uh, damage reports because the uh, Cairo was able to fire a few quick shots uh, during their abandoned ship and. From what you can see, it seems that the cloak was damaged, and there's something going on with the power levels in the ship that's keeping it from leaving, but you only have a few hours before, by your calculations, before it is able to fly and take to war. Okay. Uh, and, yeah. Just Go thinking ahead. about it, I might be a little step 34-ing this, but... Uh... That tractor beam is concerning because there's uh, even though this ship can't go to warp, they could still keep us in place. So our escape is going to kind of hinge on disabling that tractor beam. Very well. Commander, you must have some idea as to the layout of this ship, considering you have been undercover for some time. Do you want to follow me to the crucial point of where we can find answers? Uh, actually, and what I do is uh, off to the side. I uh, I whisper over to Decor. Uh, sh we should probably give him at least a phaser, right? I mean, I think if we are willing to trust him this far, we may return his disruptor rifle and pistol to him. All right, but I would like you to keep at least the other disruptor rifle because that thing, like I said, is vicious and could come in handy. Very well. Uh, and yeah, and so. I guess I'll have the disruptor rifle uh, from right. the dead guy. Uh, does somebody else want the other disruptor pistol? Uh, actually, I could take the pistol. There you go. All right. Um, now, here's something that you're going to have to think of, consider. 
Uh, Jellico is still with you. He's still in and out. You're going to have to decide if you want to continue trying to carry him with you uh, or or leave him behind or what do you want to do with him? The captain might be safest here. Though I do recall an old Earth entertainment called Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> uh, okay. So perhaps we help him into a suit, um, and uh, but leave him there so that he stays disguised. Um, you can do that. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, it does. It so far you haven't encountered any other. Uh, any other resistance or any other crew here. So it looks like probably these guys were just checking on this last escape pod and uh, the Which majority Which they cut of open gone. with a plasma uh, cutter. So with the shuttles, did they cut them open or did they just force the lock? Um, you can actually go over and take a look and actually take yeah, make a roll that. to see like you know, to get a I just good want to idea see if the shuttle is functioning because if it's functioning, right. I might just move the captain to the shuttle in case we have to make a quick getaway out of here. Okay. Um, all right. Well, one shuttle is like just torn to pieces. It's basically almost torn to pieces. Uh, it, they may have used a sh like what appears to be like a shape charge to get in, uh, and there's like a lot of marks of uh, disruptor fire, whatnot. Uh, so clearly, the these folks put up a pretty strong fight. Uh, the other one seems to be in better shape. Um, there doesn't be doesn't seem to be much in the way of power, probably because of the energy disruption weapon that hit the ship as well. Uh, right. But you, 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 you think you might be able to get it up and running. Uh, if, not, if nothing else, you might be able to salvage enough parts from the first one to uh, get this one going. So if you want, you, you can probably park him here for now and uh, just pretty much um, hope that nobody comes looking or snooping around here until you're done with what you're doing. Yeah. Um, um, Lieutenant Ava um, sits down and holds, uh, holds the captain's hand and says a prayer. Uh, may the prophets keep you safe and guide us to safely return all of us home. Uh, Isra just says, Captain, I know you said that we had to survive, but that's right back at you, so don't die. Uh, Dakor will go up to him and say, a living body and a dead body contain the same amount of molecules. <laughs> this grants perspective. You're so annoying, Dakor. <laughs> yes, Captain. So you have informed me on numerous occasions. Right, and then he kind of fades back out. Uh, okay, so um, where are you trying to head first? Well, I believe that a bundle of sticks can't be broken. It's one of my values. So the sooner we reconnect with our crew, I believe the stronger we will be um, in surviving our encounters on the ship. If we wish to retrieve the crew, Perhaps we should take the captain out of that suit and take him down there as if we are putting him in the cell. Yes? I like that idea. That's actually a really yes. good idea. <laughs> okay, okay. Your apologies, um, Captain. I must take you out of this suit now. <laughs> we'll try not to jostle you too hard. Uh, and I remind him, I did follow your last order, Captain. I did not miss. Uh, yep. And so he he's he's like, all right, you're not that annoying, Dakor. Are you familiar with the old Earth entertainment called Weekend at Bernie? Well, I hate you so much, Dakor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we have that sort of relationship, sir. All right. So you uh, you make your way. Uh, through the hallways, uh, noting uh, it doesn't seem to have like you know, have anything more than like rough equivalents of uh, what Starfleet has uh, they certainly don't seem to bother with like 
uh, turbo lifts uh, necessarily, or at least the personnel turbo lifts. Uh, you you were mainly going up and down uh, like ramps or staircases or whatnot. So they apparently they get big cardio in. Uh, so you make it to the brig, uh, and you see that. Uh, not only do you see some of your crew there or whatnot, but you see a few uh, apparently civilians there. Uh, it looks like about uh, 50 prisoners in total. We're so going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> yeah. I think it best that we... I have we... a suggestion. I what have we... a suggestion. Yes. In my surveillance of this Breen ship, there is another ship at the aft of the Breen ship that can hold all of us, all 50, plus the four of us, plus Jellico. 55, not an issue. We must go there after saving these prisoners. Very well, this sounds What reasonable. are the chances the uh, controls for the tractor beam are along the way and we could set a phaser to it to overdrive and explode it <laughs> as we're flying off. <laughs> uh, from your recollection, Torg, uh, unfortunately, the controls for the tractor beam are kind of in the fore of the ship. So basically in the opposite direction. So whoever is going to go and disable that will have to rush back across to get to the aft ship. Very well. That, so, yeah. I will do it. None of you need to accompany me. We will need someone. Do, are there any officers uh, among the captured personnel? I assume there are. Uh, there are a couple of officers there. Uh, mm -hmm. You see a uh, a trill mm -hmm. there and uh, another human. Am uh, I the ranking and, officer present? Uh. There, it looks like. Well, actually, one of the humans there is uh, Commander Wong, uh, the second in command. So, um, she she was uh, was actually going to take over as captain of the uh, Cairo once Jellico uh, left after this trip. So, I'll uh, uh, I'll report immediately to Captain Wong and propose the plan. Uh, I say that I'm willing to go if if she takes you know all the rest of the people. I'm willing to go alone if necessary to destroy the tractor beam, and everybody else get to the ship. Okay, uh, Wong uh, mulls it over and says, "I I would go myself because uh, I would rather uh, you know save my people than uh, just myself." Uh, but I'm getting this funny look from Jellico that that he's he's saying no. Okay, so um, it looks like yeah. So you got you do have some backup from uh, another security officer uh, who managed to survive. Uh, plus, uh, no, Isra is following. Uh, because... All right, right, because yeah, you're you might be needed to actually get into the computer and stuff. Yeah, so it's basically Isra. Uh, Dakor, uh, security guy, and uh, yeah, you're you're basically going to make a mad dash to the fore of the ship to disable as much as you can, and then rush back. Um, I'll turn to Thor. We could use your skill, Commander. I will accompany you. Fair enough. Uh, I guess that kind of leaves one other person. Yeah. Jesus. Um. Um. Ava thinks it over and um, it, she decides to, um, now that she's, uh, she finds somebody to take over taking care of the captain. Um, and uh, once she has done that, um, um, I may I join you as well? Of course, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. You've come this far. <laughs> it would be appreciated. Yes. Okay. Today is a All good right. day to die. <laughs> Disagree, right, so, but let's go. <laughs> all right, so you're able to uh, find the way to disengage all of the uh, the, the locks and everything, and 
Uh, Wong starts leading uh, everyone in the direction that Torg gestures. Um, and so they head towards the auxiliary craft. Uh, and you guys start rushing to the fore. All right, so you're all rushing, rushing, rushing. Um, montage time as you, you know, run and fight your way through the corridors or whatnot. Um, oh, if we're, if we're montaging it, I'd like to get at least a few nerve pinches in oh, there. Oh, of course. I haven't, yes. used, well, I haven't used that yeah. yet, so just, I'll just work it into the montage. There's a few nerve pinches. So, we, we make it to uh, the front um, the, to the floor and, uh, like I said, to this massive door. Uh, and you do see uh, a couple of green uh, at some controls, as well as a just giant Breen in a much more elaborate suit standing there, uh, clearly giving con- commands. I'm just so, saying, we can always overload a phaser and see how fast we can run out of here. <laughs> I know it technically would destroy the entire ship, but hear me out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean... <laughs> Today is a good day to die. I am not. <laughs> Today is a good day to take this whole ship down. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, if you're, you know, depends on if you're willing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, uh, uh, as you step in and everything, um, you kind of have the, the, the jump on them. And... Uh, if you like, you can decide who's going to go first and uh, hopefully you can uh, get to the system and uh, make your change, you know, make your changes or whatnot, or you can just uh, overload a phaser and uh, wipe yourselves out of reality. Um, I'll keep the phaser idea in my back pocket. Uh, Distro would like to, you know, Kirk roll over to the the console where she has to do the work and try to stay hidden while she uh, (laughs) tries to hack the system and pretty much break it. (laughs) To provide cover for that, Dakor, as per his value of it is logical to strike first for an incapacitated foe cannot retaliate, uh, steps into the room and just immediately opens fire on the big one, hopefully drawing attention away from the stealthy roll over to the vital uh, computer panel. Uh, so you basically shoot him in the back. Imminently uh, logical. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, you all, you very nearly uh, one shot at this guy. But uh, he's still up, and he is very, very pissed, and turns around. Um, okay, that was the core Torg. I am very impressed with my new Starfleet allies and their <laughs> warrior skills. But you are missing one thing. When you attack Starfleet, you must have a battle cry. May I suggest what Dakor the Vulcan has suggested before, has spoken before? Your battle cry should be, have you heard of Weekend at Bernie's? <laughs> Perhaps in honor of our captain, it should be, we are too old for this excrement. Yes, this is a good one too. Too yes. old for human excrement. <laughs> and then fire. Uh, <laughs> so you do succeed. Uh, oh, wow. Hang on. Oh. Uh, okay, so uh, as the Velsh turns around to get ready to engage you, uh, Korg uh, headshots him, and he just com- just falls straight to the floor, uh, like just straight planks to the floor or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, uh, the 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 uh, the big guy uh, is down. He's weak. He, yeah. Uh, Dakor turns to you and like holds a hand up for a Vulcan high five. We do the Vulcan high five. <laughs> <laughs> Weekend uh, at okay. Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's. Ava okay, shouts, Ava? By the, um, thanks, she thanks okay, the prophets. She yes. thanks the prophets. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ava. Um, all right, so you, you, you Kirk rolled to one of the, the panels or whatnot that you figure you can work with here. Yes. Uh, 
Okay, so you're going to, and this is where we get to play with a uh, extended task. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right, so extended task is basically a uh, extended task where she will roll multiple times to try to work out the problem. Uh, and of course, you can assist if you like, uh, but this is basically what she'll be doing instead of fighting. Okay. So, yeah, so you slice through uh, the security at the, the panel and are able to uh, to find in the system or whatnot the controls for the, uh, for the tractor beam and the energy drain weapon. Now, you'll have to disable it not only here, but make sure it cannot be rerouted to the bridge for them to control it. Right. Makes All right, sense. So that is the next step there, but that will be done on your next turn. Yeah. Uh, uh, Isra, Isra. For herself. Oh, you know, so usually, <laughs> you know, usually as an engineer, I'm not supposed to break things, but this is a little easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay, Ava. Yeah. Um. So we still have we still have a couple of subordinates still, uh, uh, to take care of. Yes. Uh, yes, or... there are still two there. Yes, that are, are there. subordinates, and they may try to make an action onto. Uh, Isra, uh, mm-hmm. tell them to is, Yeah, who is distracted <laughs> by the computer? Yes. Okay. Um. Well, I think um I'm going to go with a the phaser then because I have more of a chance. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a it's a higher it's higher numbers. Right. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Alrighty. So um so I'm gonna um in my phaser at the one that's uh, possibly closest. To possibly okay. um, in the line of fire for for Ezra to protect her. Yes. In this case, you fire, miss, and hit the panel uh, where uh, where Ezra is working, uh, which starts causing it to short out. Oi! Uh. Um, uh. So yeah. So Ezra, uh, the difficulty uh, has gone up a bit. Oh, for yours, so yeah. Uh, so yes, your difficulty is now, on that panel is now effectively four. No. Uh, <laughs> Woof. All right, I'm gonna so, I'm yeah. gonna blow a lot of momentum on my turn. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I know that's right. Uh, okay. So, um, all right. So the green that are standing there, uh, they quickly try to fire off their phasers or their disruptors. And we got uh, one firing at uh, Decor. So, um, nowhere near it. Uh, okay. And second one is going to take a shot at Torg. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that will hit. And for. Tis so, but a yeah, flesh wound. Get, yeah. So, you, you get, like, basically shot in the. Um, uh, like. Take a knee real quick, um, as uh, you know, this is just really smart. Uh, okay, so back to the top, Decor. Decor actually slings the disruptor rifle onto his back and vaults over one of the uh, consoles, lands in front of one of these guys, and just wails on him with martial arts, Vulcan martial arts. Fair enough. All right, so he lands against the 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 panel. Um, There's one left, is, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, as, as soon as that one drops, I just look at the other one and say, surrender and your life will be spared. Uh, okay. Torg. Yes. Yes. Are you sparing this his life? If he surrenders. He doesn't seem to be dropping his weapon. He is mm. not. Mm. Then I suppose he is not surrendering. I suppose his life will not be spared. So I attack again. I'm too old for this excrement. <laughs> Do I have my bat left with me? Uh, you are no. undercover. <laughs> You're undercover, yeah. I Unless it's like out of my anal cavity, <laughs> and I have a bat <laughs> like this. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> this is where Klingons keep their bat legs. That bat yeah. leg should be disinfected before use. 
Fair. That's well, part of the threat. Uh, <laughs> now the prophets yeah. work miracles. Yeah. The prophets work miracles and they manifest through the work of ordinary people. So, yes, uh, <laughs> and he is part of my group. Well, so, if, <laughs> fine. If I do not have my bad luck and it's not in my anal cavity, I will use my other. What I have one disruptor rifle or what? Do I, what do I have? Tell me, Claude. Uh, I'd say you would. You definitely have a disruptor pistol. Pistol. Okay. Yes, and of course you got your unarmed. Two strike but yes and, uh, we quick. did we did give the disruptor rifle back to him yeah we did oh yeah yes. you did okay so yeah so you do have your disruptor rifle oh you gave it back to me no i thought yes. i only yes. had the pistol though okay so i have no. the rifle okay so if i'm shooting the rifle uh okay no real resistance so uh yes you uh you crater the, uh, uh you blast the crater into the hole of the remaining uh the remaining green. Our weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> All right. Uh, Isra. All back right. to you. Five, six successes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, yeah, you get, definitely got over the difficulty. So, woo, you got, yeah, you made it. You know, so like as, as the panel was flickering at, in and out and you were trying to hit the, the touch screen, you were able to hit it just right to, 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 uh, to code it to uh, destroy the controls for the, the beams. So that achieves, that completes the magnitude. So you're able to complete the job. The, the tractor beam and the EDW are disabled. So if you, so at this point, you can straight hook right, it back. Up, slaps the paddle and goes, I am too old for this human excrement. <laughs> <laughs> um, at, uh, as you start running, the ship rocks with it, and uh, it, and you're, you know, like the, just, just just starts shuddering, or whatnot. and then all of a sudden, and it's shortly after that, it rocks again, and you swear you hear something very familiar. It sounds like Federation phaser fire, and you From and. It, I, I assume you still have your your combat, right? Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, that. <laughs> Hailing frequencies open, please. <laughs> All right, and you hear uh, this. <clears throat> uh, the greetings. Uh, this is Captain Jean Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise. <laughs> uh, any and all Starfleet officers, uh, we are. Uh, Locking on to your uh, your combat signals and attempting to beam you all to safety. Uh, sir, uh, we have one additional non-Starfleet uh, that needs rescue as well. P uh, please lock into this Klingon uh, life signal. There are also uh, uh, there yes. are there are also civilians that are not Starfleet in the in our group. Yes, uh, we 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 have them. They uh, they are in some strange auxiliary ship that uh, was able to. Uh, escape the vessel and uh, contact us through an emergency uh, hailing. Huh. But uh, we were already on our way, but anyway. Thank you, um, Prophets. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, yes. thank you, Captain. Your assistance is most appreciated. Thank you. Uh, insert Shakespeare quote here. <laughs> um, and as you as you uh, continue to try to avoid getting, like, you know, blown to pieces from the repeated fire, uh, you feel the familiar tingle of the uh, Federation uh, transporter. Uh, and the next thing you know, you find yourself on a transporter pad and uh, see the familiar uh, gold of the uh, chief man manning, the manning the pod. And you see uh, the red uniform and glorious beard of one William Riker. Uh, as you are taken aboard, you find yourself in the uh, ready room, you know, and of course your uh, bravery have prevented them from gaining uh, a huge foothold into Federation space, as well as uh, saving, uh, I wouldn't say countless lives, but we did count them, but we saved them anyway. Um, I will turn to Captain Jellico. Captain, permission to speak freely. Proceed. Captain Picard, does your vessel contain a functioning holodeck? 
he uh, he looks at his schedule for holiday model functions and says, uh, uh, actually, yes, it's working this week. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, it is time for weekend at Bernie's. Yes! <laughs> and uh, created by Gene Roddenberry. Slash the <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, All right, God. well, uh, that is uh, it for uh, this is the Star Trek one shot. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming and playing. That's a lot of fun. Thank you. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me. <laughs>